Well, welcoming to the table now. We have been, since, even before I was on AMC Movie Talk, we have been getting requests for this young man to come on in the show. And he is beloved by many out there in the film world, and he's beloved by us. He is the Schneppinator. What's going Judge on? Judge Schnepp, what's up, dude? Yes. Welcome to Schmoville, finally. Yeah. You know, that's just so simple that I don't know if I know this. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge is best served the second time. How many of the Hellraiser sequels have you seen? Uh, only the good ones. Schnapp. Batman. In <laughs> All right. <laughs> when I don't know the answer, I'm going to have some fun. I'm Bateman. Sleepy, sneezy, um, scowly, skimpy, scrambles, f*** you, and Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Heigl and Gerard Butler. <laughs> Shut up! So oh, right. smooth, I can't stop running. Oh. Uh, 21. I uh, can't do that one. one two. Uh, 22. Can't do that. One to 20. 20. 25. 23. 23, Jordan. 23. 1 to 20. 40. Oh! Los Pajaros! All these amazing new, like, comic books, but... I just he that's, gets excited. Yeah, that's I what I'm rightfully so. Yeah, I don't think he really knew how much people loved him. Our boy, the big guy, the sweatiest of the sweaties. It was it was something really special to see how wonderful this guy was. And his excitement for everything nerd was infectious. It got inside you. Anything he ever shared was with so much love. He just wanted you to enjoy it. And he also was all about supporting artists and supporting creativity and supporting dreams. John showed me how okay it was to be authentic. That was John Schnepp saying, keep doing what you do. Make people laugh, entertain people. And his passion for everything that he talked about, everything that he did just Contagious. shone through. Yeah. He's got this like rebellious nature that I admire. If that's something that can give us all as well, do what you love and talk about what you're passionate about and be kind. He emphasized how important it was to support the things that you love, to throw your love out there in the world. You can always find a piece of, of John Schnepp in anything that you do. John's work will, will continue to live uh, for many, many years. That's the kind of shit that happens when you follow your dreams. Yeah, a lot of you didn't know him, but he was you. He was me. Schnepp was absolutely fucking one of us. Anyone who met him feels a loss. People who didn't meet him feel the loss. Whether they knew him or not, they wanted to. You felt him. And it's just such a warm presence that it's like, this can't be real. Like, he's so relatable, and you can feel that across the screen. He's really one of those guys you see on the screen, and you're like, oh, man, I wish I could just chum with you, you know? He made you want to do the things that he was talking about. Like, he made everything seem so, like, grand. And he was a staple of geek culture. Schnepp was that voice. He, he was kind of the fan's voice. We will see you again, sir. Hey, I am the biggest loser. Oh, in addition to being a comic book fan, he was, he was, num he was an artist. He was an incredible artist. Because we all share in his loss, but we also share in the celebration of the time we had with John and the lessons we learned from him. And one last time, sweaties unite. <laughs>